Okay, so what we're seeing here is another problem related to this, uh, continuing this problem with the rectangles and the total perimeter. And it says, which of the following graphs represents the relationship described above? So I haven't done this yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redraw for you what the table said on uh, that last problem. And what it looked like was roughly this, where we have the um, number of rectangles. Oops, what's going on there? The number of rectangles. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not in my writing tool. The number of rectangles and the total perimeter P. And we had one was 26, two was 36, three was 46, etc. So what we really want to see is, are those the numbers that we're getting? Um, and this is really great because it show, it, it can help show you the relationship between the table and what the graph should look like. So at one, one rectangle, what should we get for the perimeter? We should be getting 26. We should, if we go over here to one, we should be all the way up here to 26, close to 30. We're not for that one. And let's continue on. For two, two is 36. At Here at two, we're not even above 30. And three should be already at 46. And three, it's not still not above 30. So definitely not. Okay. Okay, now, what about B? Let's see. At 1, we're below 30. That looks like if that's 15 and that's 30, then there's 15 units in there. So that looks about good. 2, 36. That's 30. That seems less than half of the way to 45. So that seems good. And 3, 40 should be at 46. And it is just above 45. That's good. And actually, if we continued the pattern, just so you could see what would happen as we went further out, 4 would add another 10, 56. 5 would add another 10, 66. So we could actually check and say, what's happening out there at 5? 5, 66. Here, if that's 60, that's about 66. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to hold that out for B, but I'm going to be smart. I'm going to check the remaining ones. Um, and so let's see what we get. We say at 1, 1 should produce 26. Here at 1, we're way past it. That's the one where it said one was 52. They're, they're graphing the old possible values. Um, that's no good, that's not true. 52, so we can eliminate that one, that's too high. And let's check this one. Um, let's see, at one we've got about 26. Yeah, that looks good. At two, we've got 36. Mm, it's a little too high, it's about 40. Four about, and that's remember one of the other tables had 44. Um, that's no good. What about three? At three, we should be at 46, which would be right about there. That's getting too high. That's already above 60. At four, we should be at 56. Four over here at 56. That's way too high. And at five, we should be at 66. And this is already up at like 100. So it's not D. Not D. And it's B. We're done.